Hi there, gearheads. You're watching GearWire.com. My name is Dan, and this is an instructional video on Sonar 6 Producer Edition. Now, this is going to carry over into version 7. These are these videos, these groups of videos are focusing on features that will continue uh, or ha have been in previous versions, maybe even down to version 3. A lot of them were introduced in 6, but all of them will remain in 7. So if you have updated, don't worry. This is still applicable to you. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at the friendly I.O. options, um, and that, in fact, is under the options menu, audio, and here we have, as soon as we get that in the frame, our drivers. Now, over here, everything sort of like, what, Mo2, Analog 1, 2, okay, okay, um, SPDIF, ADAT, okay, that's all great. Um, you can also click here. You have to click down here, use friendly names, and uh, go over here. And uh, as you can see, this column says friendly name. Now, the input, the, uh, the analog inputs on, on my, on, on left and right of uh, one and two on my interface um, are actually not very nice. <laughs> I don't like to use them that much, but they are the PreSonus blue tubes. So I'm going to have blue tube. Because I, I have two of these. Yes, it's embarrassing. Call them blue two, one, and two. And then next one, of course, just standard Windows interface, like a slow double click does it. Blue tube, three and four. And now I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, number five. Well, actually, I'm just going to go to the next one because... That's a little bit less embarrassing what I have there. I have the Avalon VT737. And then also I have Focusrite. And that is actually Focusrite 2 that I have on that one. So the friendly naming is, is gr it's great, but it's flawed in that um, when you're using these particular types of drivers, everything is, uh, and I'm using WDM, they, they work the best on my system. Uh, everything is grouped into, every, every input is grouped into two. So you have to give two inputs the same name. So you, you kind of, if you, if you have a different preamp on, on the like five and six, like, like I said, you have to do this and it's not exactly the best. So right down here, of course, I've, I've clicked it on. If I leave that on and go over here to my tracks and choose an input here I can see left blue tube one right blue tube one two uh, stereo blue tube and then over here I have an Avalon focus right so it is a nice feature uh, especially when you're cramped for time and uh, band comes in and you just got to get set up real fast uh, it's a nice little feature that allows just makes things a little bit more nice to the user. Now let's say you like to get behind your rack and change things around a lot and all of a sudden instead of going in and changing all of these you just want to turn them off for a little while and maybe you, you want to just keep notes like uh, hard notes on your on your desk. You can just turn these off simply by unclicking this, unclicking the use friendly names to represent audio drivers thing and then if we go back to our track as you can see the friendly names are now gone, so if you do change anything around, they're not there to confuse you. So thanks for checking out uh, this video here at GearWire.com.